Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be the review of the AirOS official based on Android 9.0 Pi for the Redmi Note 3. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here is my Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 running the AirOS official and the build date is 21st October 2018 and this is the latest build at this at the time of recording this video. By the way, I'll have the link for the full review of this ROM in the description. I have already reviewed the 23rd September build in depth so you can check it out. So this review will just be an update review. I'll be telling you guys what are the differences and what has changed from previous build to this build. So here are a couple of pre-installed applications that comes with this ROM except NFS Most Wanted, Share It, YouTube and anti to benchmark all other apps can pre-installed with this room talking about the camera application here is the same camera app which we have seen earlier and it remains the same the 4k video recording was not working in the earlier versions it continues with this version too let me show you the video recording really quick it is set on 4k by the way and here it is it's giving error i don't know for what but 4k video recording is not working in the official ROS. here are the settings of the camera app back camera is set to 4k usd as you can see so it was not working over there. Let us try 1080p. It is working. 1080p is working. I have already tested it. Here it is. No lags or anything. But unfortunately 4K doesn't work. Talking about the music player. Here is the default music player that comes with this ROM. And one good thing is that the sound output in this ROM has been increased quite a bit from the previous version. Yes, the sound output is pretty good in this ROM. Not the best. It is not as great as the AEX ROM and the AOSP Android 9.0 ROMs but it has improved from the previous builds. So let me show you the settings menu of this ROM really quick, the about device section and here is the about phone and going into the Android version, here are all the required information. Obviously the Android version is 9.0 Pi, the security patch is of October 5, 2018 and a couple of other details are available if you are concerned with it, pause the screen and have a look at it. Going into the security and location, fingerprint scanner is working absolutely fine for me and all other screen lock types works absolutely well, no issues with anything. For me the fingerprint scanner is working absolutely well. So here is the fingerprint speed. Not the fastest but it's pretty much similar to various other 9.0 ROMs and the fingerprint performance also remains the same. Location also works fine, no issues with that. So going into the display here are a couple of standard things like the night light and a couple of other things you can control like the status bar items, clock and various other things. I have already showed this in the previous video so you can have a look at it. The link is in the description. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, hotspot, everything works perfectly fine, no issues with anything. So talking about some of the other things like the Antutu benchmark, I don't know for what but the Antutu benchmark is giving errors in this room. So it is running till the... So like... 15% is running fine and the benchmark goes all the way up to 15% and after that when the coastline comes that's the 3D performance it gets stuck over there and it doesn't move forward anymore. I literally tried to do it for like 3 to 4 times but it isn't working. Unfortunately no antidote score for this video for this Arrow OS official. Before it was running fine the 23rd September build antidote benchmark score was around 96,000 plus and it was working absolutely well. So talking about general performance, day to day usage is really good, there aren't any major lags in the system. If you keep lots and lots of apps in the memory then it might lag a little bit, not too much but yeah noticeable lags over there. Talking about the gaming performance, gaming performance in this room is pretty similar to the older builds. There aren't any major improvements in terms of gaming performance, it remains pretty much similar. So let me show you my battery usage really quick and going into the battery usage. So here is my battery usage. When I first booted this ROM, the device was around 92% and after that I started using this ROM. I ran anti benchmark, I played a couple of videos on YouTube, I played a couple of games, then later on downloaded some applications etc. During all this usage, the battery had drained around like 20%, that's it. In a nutshell, the battery life is good, it remains pretty much similar, there aren't any major upgrades in terms of battery life. So this was regarding the battery life in this room. So I'll have all the required links in the description. You can join the telegram group of All About Technology 24 into 7. There are many developers and many people. So if you have any issues, you can check it out. They will definitely help you out and I'm active there too. Apart from that, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I have links in the description. This was a quick little review of the Arrow OS official running on the Redmi Note 3. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. This is all about Technology 24 7 Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.